so uh, we're, we're talking about um, placenta insufficiency all right placenta insufficiency so placenta insufficiency is just a straightforward terminology placenta is placenta insufficiency means that things are not actually reaching to you in the right amount you understand so for placenta insufficiency you just have to do it the baby is not getting what the proper supply of oxygen and nutrients like it should you get so it's also known as placental dysfunction it occurs when the placenta fails to deliver what adequate oxygen and nutrients to the fetus when it is growing okay so this condition can lead to complications such as what the baby will not be able to grow to the full size of that gestational age you get so there's low birth weight there's preterm birth all of that so you can result from various factors like what maternal health conditions like the mother has diabetes or hypertension placental abnormalities like let me say there's placental um well won't be like how not okay still placental abnormalities okay let me say there's some problems in the placenta do you understand where oxygen and nutrients are not reaching the baby adequately or maybe there's lifestyle factors like the mother used to smoke you understand so symptoms include um, the baby is not even moving fully again i know that law in anatomy if you're not moving well with that part of the body there's disuse okay there's reduction in size all right so slower than expected growth of the uterus too so that means the environment of the baby too is even reduced so management typically involves close monitoring of the pregnancy in severe cases early de delivery may be recommended just to ensure that there's safety of the mother and baby okay so most babies they might be giving birth small but recover later on in life okay so that's it for placental insufficiency